Good morning. We are hanging out with the folks from Yoga Shala Water Down, but we're outside, even though the studios are officially open. Thank goodness for that. Oh, yes. Oh, yay. <laughs> I'm here with Lindsay, one of the co owners of Yoga Shala, and I know it's been a tough go for the last year and a half for yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Off and on. You can say that. But <laughs> you have managed to do yoga outdoors mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. I know you have a new location on Center Road in Water Down. We're going to talk about a little bit later as well, mm -hmm. opening up in the fall. Yes. So, a lot of outdoor yoga going on there right now. Yes. But here we are at Christie's Conservation Area and we're talking about some of the retreats you've been holding. You had one this past weekend and this is one of the components mm -hmm. of being outside on your mat. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the benefits of that. I mean, obviously being indoors is awesome and has its benefits, but I think, you know, in the when we have the weather that's beautiful, I mean, why not come outside, you get mm -hmm. the fresh air, beautiful warmth of the sun, you know, you always hear the nature in the background. You do. Real nature, real birds. Yes, <laughs> real birds, not just the music. <laughs> yes. Um, and you know you can incorporate that into the practice you can mm -hmm. incorporate the sounds and sure and uh you it's know. funny, it's interesting when you look at the mats and you look at, you know, the location where you are in studio, it's everything so regulated, right? Mm -hmm. you have, but it's funny how outside all of a sudden your balance comes a little oh, bit yes. into play. <laughs> You're on, you know, little lumpy grass and little things, but there's something so nice about that. Yes. It's just different, right? Well, it just challenges you in a different way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you're really good at balancing, you've really mastered something, then maybe it brings you back yes, a, a notch exactly. and allows you to challenge yourself once again. Well, with the retreats coming up in August, mm -hmm. um, we want people to know that anyone can go to these retreats <laughs> and Absolutely. so the, the land yoga there's going to be sup you know the stand-up paddleboard yoga yeah um, there's hiking there's all kinds of wonderful yeah. things meditation yeah. but it's for anybody so all shapes and sizes it doesn't matter if you've ever done yoga before you can do the retreat mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. oh my gosh yeah and I think I think that's as a whole you know in our studio and you know yoga in general I mean anybody can do yoga yes. and you know we just um, lead and guide our classes in such a way that everyone feels you know comfortable and confident and um, capable and I, I love mm -hmm. that too you're right and it's not what we see as you said in social media sometimes where you have to be perfect and flexible and this it's not that at all Mm -hmm. and I, I love that about Yoga Shower too, mm -hmm. where we're all accepted and we can mm -hmm. all manage to get through a class just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. All right, we're going to come back here. We're at Christie's Conservation Area with Yoga Shower friends, and uh, we're talking about the retreats coming up in August. Maybe you can be part. Good morning. We're back at Christie's Conservation Area and we're here with our friends from Yoga Shallow Waterdown. We decided to bring it outdoors. There's yeah. been a lot more outdoors this past year and a half, hasn't there? There sure has. Mm -hmm. And thank okay. goodness we have that. I yeah. know, yeah. I know. So we were talking about the uh, the studio that you're opening as well. Uh, you have your new location in the fall that you'll be opening, but you've been doing outdoor classes there as well right now for the time being, which is nice. That's right. And, uh, and you have retreats coming up mm -hmm. and uh, they're in August, right? And, yeah. and it's a full day of people be able to come even if you don't know each other and by the end of the day everyone is connected and feeling a little more grounded. That is absolutely right Leslie. Yeah so we have two dates coming up in August and they are a combination of yoga, mm -hmm. stand-up paddleboard yoga, mm -hmm. a little hike and a beautiful meditation. And that's what we have going on behind us right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. um, you know we talked about how each has their you know their significance and importance so what what does meditation do us for a lot of people struggle with meditation because they don't know how to quiet their mind right so we'll teach and help people guide themselves into this place of maybe a little more stillness mm. you know during this past 18 months through the global pandemic um, our stress levels are higher the worry mm -hmm. of where is this world gonna go just being able to sit and be quiet and enjoy the outdoors that really is mm -hmm. meditation. And after you've been here for the day and you really start to relax through the day, a lot of times people have a hard time shutting down at home because they're amongst, you know, doorbells ringing and, and you know, their home office and laundry. But here, after a day and then you get to all sit, it's, I'm, I'm sure it's a little easier to let go. Absolutely. And these are tools that perhaps you can bring back into your home life. Right. Just finding a quiet place, mm -hmm. learning maybe a breath technique that we teach you, right. and you can make yourself right back in this place. And I think that's what people need is those little tips, like what words or phrasing can I use to help me calm? Because again, it's just so hard to shut down. And and some people think you have to do it for a whole hour, half an hour. Sometimes even if you can get five minutes, that's right. it can help sort of 
make you help you get through your day basically That's right. right three three conscious breaths three deep breaths wow. is all it takes That's to maybe important. perhaps get you right back to where you know this place of peace awesome yeah. so again this is one of the components of the the retreats coming up in August and uh, people can register online right with yoga shala right. yeah go to yogashalawaterdown.com mm -hmm. all of our scheduling is there I also want to mention that we may be popping more of these up mm. into the fall season so Stay nice. tuned and watch for that. That yeah. would be great because yeah. I know the classes do fill up quickly. Yeah. All right, we have more to come here. That's it for now. What a beautiful morning here at Christie's Conservation Area. You can actually be part of a retreat coming up here with our friends from Yoga Shallow Water Down. And I'm here with Wendy. And uh, Wendy, you are the instructor for the day I am. of this amazing retreat. We had one this past weekend. You said it went very well, very successful. It was successful. amazing, yeah. We had a fantastic time. The, uh, all the people that participated really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. We paddled, we hiked, and then we also did a little bit of rain yoga <laughs> on the paddle yeah, board. Yeah, it was so. a little rainy on Saturday. <laughs> it was good, though. It was great, right? Yeah, that's what happens, so we, right? out here, we really try and embrace all the elements of nature and mm -hmm. just really settled into the space for the day. Now we have uh, some hikers coming in behind us here and that's one of the elements that you mentioned is going out in nature. So your hike was how long that you did? A hike was 75 minute long hike at your own pace. Uh -huh. um, so that was quite lovely. Mm -hmm. And um, there's, you know, the birds, the frogs, we saw the blue herons, mm -hmm. the turtles as we were walking by the pond. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just very grounding to be fully immersed in the nature, mm -hmm. part of our health and wellness. So yeah, yeah nice and that's the thing, the like you and I were talking before off camera how important it is to get out in nature and how it really is it can really take away a lot of stress yeah. just even going outside for 10 minutes so that's what's why this whole thing is all part of it right mm -hmm. our goal for the day was for people to totally unplug mm -hmm. unplug from their routine from their day yeah. and just really connect and let go mm -hmm. and I found that people truly did mm -hmm. it was amazing and then making connections with other people right that they've never met exactly which is nice too and everybody yeah. needs that right now we've all been so isolated for the last mm -hmm. year and a half plus right and and so the day it starts at around what nine o'clock in the morning uh, check-in is at nine mm -hmm. so we really get on the go at 9 30 we have lots to do but yep. have given ourselves lots of space and to do it and it goes right through day. to 4 30. we That's provide a, a snack even oh i love it <laughs> such a fun day well next we're going out on the water because you are the sup yoga instructor i am and if you think you can't do yoga on this water you can it's not as crazy as you think you actually can keep your balance on a board yes we're going to come back and we're going to go right out there in that beautiful beautiful lake. Okay, Christie Conservation Area here on the water, as promised. I'm back with Wendy, and uh, Wendy is our SUP instructor, and you've had a pretty good summer so far We've out on the water summer, even yes. with rain you can make it happen we can paddle in the rain <laughs> okay I know a lot of people I, I, I love doing this as well as you know I love doing your classes and people say how can you even possibly even stand on a on a board or kneel never mind do yoga mm -hmm. it's not as bad as people think no we teach exactly how to get on the boards how to paddle mm -hmm. and then once you've paddled you uh, don't even have to stand Right. You can paddle the whole time from the knees. You can do your whole yoga practice from the knees. Mm -hmm. And then when you have that confidence, you can come up to right. a stand if you would like. Right. So we were talking about how this is part of the big retreat days that we have coming up in August and maybe some in September, hopefully. And uh, again, for some people who have never tried yoga at all, this day is still great for them because they get to do their hiking, their meditation, their yoga on land, and of course, their yoga on a board. Right. And they'll learn all the techniques, everything they need for a full day of relaxation and fun. Yes. and connection fun but you know when people are out on the water it it's different it's a different mindset when you're out there than in doing yoga in a class isn't it 100 percent, right mm -hmm. you're so much more aware and present when you're on the water mm -hmm. uh, and that allows you to let all that other stuff your lists to do mm -hmm. uh, you get to leave them aside and really yes. just be there and mm -hmm. present and doing something really fun exactly. i like to think of the sup yoga or even the retreat as in a full day experience or when you come to class it's an experience it really is and, and out here i mean we have such a beautiful morning this morning it's just you can hear the birds and nature but you know, we have the class being held close to the shoreline right now, but you often will take them right out, way far, you paddle out and you anchor down and so you're not floating away. Right now we don't have them anchored, so right. everybody's just free birds out there. <laughs> <laughs> but look at everybody is capable and look what they're doing yes. on a board. And everybody is so stable. Right. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah, the boards are very stable. Our boards actually have a yoga mat on them, mm -hmm. so they're not slippery. Right. And it makes the um, yoga, you know, really easy to do. Yeah. So you don't have to mm -hmm. worry about it. And lots of times if people don't care for a posture as I always tell them just rest in a child's pose like they are in right now yes do a pose that feels good in your body mm -hmm. even some people like doing headstand on these boards I have seen that and it <laughs> amazes me I can't even believe it but people do manage to do a headstand on the board yes 
Wendy, this is part of the retreat coming up. People can go onto the Yoga Shallow website, correct, right. and register in advance and uh, and spend the day with you. Yes. And have a beautiful day. Yes. Yes. It's great. All right. Thank you so much. And thank thanks you. to all the girls out in the water right now enjoying their time. We'll let them be.